Hello, my name is Nelson Virgil and I'm here to speak about healthy nutrition. Uh, nutrition to lose weight, nutrition to keep a lean body, nutrition to decrease cholesterol, triglycerides, improve uh, blood sugar, nutrition that decreases inflammation, nutrition that um, will hopefully provide enough minerals, vitamins and amino acids to keep us healthy. So there are three um, First of all, I, I, I try to remind, remind people, do not skip breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And most of us are so rushed uh, that we grab, uh, usually grab something sweet or you know, full of uh, calories and fat and sugar for breakfast. And that's unfortunate. We, we've been sleeping for seven, eight hours. Our body's starving for nutrients. And what we feed them usually is bagels or bread or, or, or sugars or processed foods. So that's, that's unfortunate. Um, so I'll talk about you know, yogurt, nuts, uh, eggs, uh, even fruits and vegetables for breakfast is not a bad idea. So breakfast is very important. Then lunch, uh, you, know, you can also have lean uh, meats uh, or, or a sandwich made of lean meats uh, with high fiber bread and some vegetables too. And for uh, dinner, you can have a large salad with uh, grilled chicken or tuna or, or salmon and, um, and, uh, and some uh, multigrain or high, high fiber uh, carbohydrates. <clears throat> the goal is to keep protein intake up. We need protein for muscle and for health. Uh, the immune system really uh, feeds on, on, on protein uh, sources. Um, keeping our fat intake low and eat good fats instead of bad fats. Uh, there's a big difference. And um, have a high intake of fiber. We, most of us don't have, uh, don't eat more than 15, 10 to 15 grams, and really we should be up to 30 to 40 uh, in studies that show that high protein uh, fiber intake improves not only gut health, but also decreases uh, inflammation and, and chances of incidence of colon cancer and other diseases. Fiber is very important, and unfortunately in the United States and in most, most of the world, f um, food processing companies are removing fiber to sell products that last longer and that may taste a little better than, than, than having them with fiber. And that's very unfortunate. So I'm going to speak about the proper carbohydrates with fiber, the proper uh, lean meats uh, with good oils and, and fruits and vegetables. When we start here with fruits and vegetables, concentrate on when you go to the grocery store on picking at least, and I don't have all colors here, obviously, picking at least one of each color. Every color has a different antioxidant profile. Uh, like tomatoes have been shown to have all kinds of vitamins and minerals. Lycopene protects eyesight. Uh, green uh, lettuce, the greener the better. Um, has more, um, greener has more, means it has more chlorophyll and more antioxidants and, and vitamins. Um, um, spinach, very good source of many minerals and, 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 and vitamins. You don't have to buy, by the way. I, I show a lot of things in bags here. It's actually cheaper to buy things uh, that are not in bags. I just bought them in bags for, for practical purposes so that you pay a lot more when you, but they're supposed to be cleaner. Although, you know, that's, that's sometimes relative. You have to make sure you clean your vegetables again. Broccoli is probably the healthiest and most complete of all vegetables, uh, vegetable sources, high fiber, high antioxidant value, high, high vitamin value, high mineral value. It's, it's really, and you steam them, don't over, overcook them, just steam them a little or even, or even raw. You can actually use them as a, as a way to dip on, I'm gonna talk about hummus. Um, so amazing, amazing source of, of uh, protein, fiber, <clears throat> and, uh, and vitamins and minerals. <clears throat> Berries of all colors, berries have, in the fruit family are probably the ones that have the most vitamins. And in this case, I have uh, raspberries and uh, blackberries. And um, they're the best source for vitamins also and um, antioxidants. Uh, you can put them in yogurt, you can eat them with, with salads, you can, and, you know, you can just grab them, like, eat them as a snack. Um, they're not horribly cheap, that's, that's the only problem with berries, but um, but if you have, I tell people, don't spend so much money on supplements. This is what you should be spending your money on, on berries and, and healthy uh, vegetables. I sometimes buy frozen berries too because it's practical sometimes to have them at home. Um, 
Um, and also uh, frozen vegetables tend to also retain a lot of their mineral and vitamin values because the companies actually pick them at when they're at it's the right peak of, of, my, of uh, ripeness and freeze them right away. So it protects some of the nutrients and um, they don't have as many, um, as many um, uh, preservatives as uh, processed, other processed fruits. So try to, um, these are basically high glycemic, high fiber, high antioxidant, high nutrient value uh, vegetables and fruits. They move on, move on to proteins and oils. They all come together. Uh, eggs, I think eggs are one of the most wonderful source of proteins. One egg can have anywhere from eight to 12 grams of protein, good amino acid profile, good antioxidants and, and minerals and vitamins. In this case, I bought cage-free omega-3 uh, eggs, there's some organic eggs, you know, these are, um, these are eggs that are produced by, by hens that are not kept in the cage and fed all the hormone, hormone based products and all that all artificial stuff. And they're basically fed fish, uh, type of, uh, uh, food that make them, uh, rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which are proven to decrease, uh, triglycerides, improve brain function, uh, decrease inflammation, and many other health benefits of omega-3. So they're not too expensive. These, these are a little bit more expensive than the regular kind, but it's like 250 for, for, for a dozen eggs. I boil them and have them as a snack in the fridge or uh, saute them with a little bit of oil in the morning and have them with like beans uh, in the morning instead of eggs. That's my favorite. Uh, breakfast now with high fiber and protein. <clears throat> uh, yogurt is also a um, staple of most um, uh, healthy diets. Uh, base, uh, we, we found out that Mediterranean diets um, decrease cardiovascular risks. People tend to not gain as much weight on Mediterranean diets. People in the Mediterranean area tend to eat a lot of uh, uh, yogurt. Yogurt has a lot of uh, uh, live uh, bacteria, friendly bacteria, acidophilus probiotics that keep our uh, gut uh, health uh, at, at its peak. Um, we need those bugs to, to assimilate nutrients better and to also produce vitamins. Uh, great source of protein. I have a 0% fat here. You can mix it in, in uh, you can eat it for breakfast with nuts and fruits. You can mix it in your protein shakes if you do, do that. Uh, you can actually create, uh, make some real good um, dressings with it for salads and, and meats. Um, you know, just like the Mediterranean, uh, people in Mediterranean countries do. Um, I eat yogurt at least twice a day. Um, even though I'm lactose intolerant, I can actually tolerate yogurt uh, because um, um, it has very low lactose. A lot of these bacteria have already eaten up a lot of the lactose. Uh, another Mediterranean-based product <clears throat> is uh, hummus, which is basically ch a chickpea uh, butter, high in protein, high in good fats, very tasty, high calorie, so you have to be careful not to eat too much, and a great dip to, uh, I use celery sticks to dip it, and I really, I'm really addicted to hummus. I, I, there are all kinds of flavors, and you can actually buy fresh, um, fresh hummus, not processed hummus, if you can have that luxury to do so. Um, another very important source that you hear all the time is salmon. Uh, salmon has a lot of omega-3 fatty acids, good protein source, low fat. The, good, the fats that salmon has are good fats. They, you know, there's controversy on, on whether farm-raised uh, farm, uh, 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 salmon has uh, less omega-3s, maybe even heavy metals. And, and there's a concern. There's different sources of, and do your research on, on Google um, on, on salmon, but salmon is a very important staple. I would try to avoid sources of uh, salmon that have high metal content if you're pregnant or, or for kids, for instance, because that really affects them uh, a lot more than, than adults um, that are not pregnant. But anyway, salmon, great source of omega-3 fatty acids, protein, um, and you can cook it so quickly within 15 minutes it's done in the oven. You can also have lean chicken, um, organic you know, raised chicken. Um, you can have uh, lean meats like turkey, uh, um, beef, even beef if it's really lean. And, um, and other sources like, like um, lamb and, and uh, buffalo meat too. So as long as it's lean, low fat, because um, you know, 
meat is a good source of protein, minerals, and antioxidants. Um, but don't overdo the red, uh, the red meats uh, that much, maybe once or no more than twice a week, uh, if that much. And, and fish, try to eat fish at least two or three times a week. And that's where most of us fail. For oils, uh, olive oil, uh, the dark uh, virgin olive oil, usually they say, you know, try to buy a bottle that's darker than this. I'm sorry about <laughs> this one actually, because light can actually affect um, the oil itself. Uh, use it for anything except uh, sauteing, because uh, oil, olive oil burns really easily. And once it starts fuming and, you know, and uh, burning, that's creating trans fatty acids that, are, are, that can cause cancer. So uh, oil is a monounsaturated fatty acid of uh, oil that is actually good for inflammation. It has some antioxidant value um, and also some um, lipid lowering value too. Use it, as I said, in anything that doesn't require uh, high heat. For high heat, um, uh, walnut oil is a lot more uh, safe because it doesn't burn as easily. It also has the same properties as olive oil when it comes to health. It's a very good oil too. These are two products that are canned, and yes, try to avoid too many canned products, although um, more and more companies are getting into a safer way of uh, packaging canned um, products so that there's no leaching uh, of, you know, there's like some research that says that canned products may have leaching of the uh, polymer that is used to, to coat the, the, the can inside can leach into the product and actually not be good for health, but a lot of companies are actually taking care of that problem. And sardines, and most people hate sardines, and sardines are probably the cheapest source of protein, the cheapest source of omega-3 oils, the cheapest source of minerals, vitamins, and amino acids. It really is, I mean, if you, if you try, and they're all flavored, I mean, this one has mustard sauce. You don't have to eat them, you know, they're all kinds of, uh, they're garlic uh, uh, sardines and you can buy, uh, there's some Spanish ones from Spain that are really, really tasty. So at least try them out, uh, because it really, especially if you don't have much money, uh, eggs and sardines um, and hummus and, and yogurt, anybody can buy them, those products without spending way too much money. I also like tuna, and uh, in this case, you know, I do like it with olive oil, It'll, although people say, well, that has more calories. And this, this one has olive oil and a little bit of garlic too, so it makes it easy for me to eat it out of a can when I'm brushing. So, you know, I'm, I, I'm not really into spending too much time cooking because I'm really busy. So I'm always trying to get things that I can eat quickly without having to spend too much time. And uh, I, I feel envious, um, jealous for people that actually have the time and love cooking because it um, makes things a lot easier um, when it comes to eating. But there are lots of things that we can eat really quick without having to cook them. Or, or process them too much, um, especially if you're like me, that you're so busy that you're trying to eat the right foods and while you are traveling and doing all this stuff. Um, we're going to move into uh, carbohydrates. And as you can see here, I don't have anything white here. No white bread, no white pasta. A lot of that stuff has very little value when it comes to fiber and, and mineral content and vitamin content. Uh, fiber is very important. We're not eating enough fiber in this country. Um, most of us need to go anywhere from 30 to 40 grams a day of fiber. Fiber produces, uh, improves health, uh, gut health, uh, improves uh, inflammation of the gut. Uh, there's some data that fiber actually decreases immune activation, improves immune function, uh, it improves the, 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 the health of the friendly bacteria in our guts, etc. And it, 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 it enhances and, and, and makes us regular. You know, we can go to the bathroom once a day and actually evacuate. Some people that are constipated, usually they're not eating enough fiber. And, and unfortunately, every, most things that we buy at, at fast food places are, have no fiber. Um, the food industry has really done a horrible job by removing most fiber uh, from breads and rice and other products. Uh, nuts, uh, great source of fiber, oil, good oils and protein. You have to be careful. Don't eat too many nuts because it's really, especially if you're trying to lose weight. <clears throat> but uh, it's the best, best snack you can have. I tell people if you, if you are hungry at work and you, know, you have a vending machine, try to, <laughs> try to avoid the vending machine. But have this in like the, the drawer of your, of your um, office. And at 10 a.m. or 3 p.m., whenever we get hungry between meals, have, have a bunch of uh, mixed nuts, uh, almonds, uh, cashews, uh, 
pecans, you name it, all of them are, are good for you. Low salt, try not to go too crazy on the salt because it's, it can increase uh, heart pressure and, and all that. But, and um, I sometimes mix nuts with, uh, with uh, fruit, you know, dried fruit because you know, it just gets boring after a while. And it can provide also fiber and different tastes for you. Black beans, uh, very important. Black beans have lots of fiber, lots of antioxidants and minerals, very cheap. I'm from Venezuela, we eat a lot of black beans, so I'm a little biased. Um, but um, you can soak them overnight. You need to soak them before you cook them. And I have a slow cooker, I put them in the morning with garlic, cumin, a uh, little salt, a uh, little olive oil, and let it go. And then four hours later, I come home and my, my beans are done. And I use beans, black beans, because it's a slow absorbing carbohydrate. Now, what does that mean? You know, carbohydrates that have no carbohydrate sources that have no fiber in them usually absorb very quickly through the stomach lining and the, and the gut and increase blood uh, sugar very quickly and insulin spikes and really create a lot of that yo-yo um, uh, effect in the energy and also can actually make you fatter. So eating slow carbs, uh, low, slow carbohydrates like uh, beans. Uh, so I use beans instead of bread. Uh, for instance, for breakfast, I eat black beans and, uh, and uh, two eggs or eat you know, yogurt and nuts uh, to increase my fiber and my protein. <clears throat> uh, quinoa, uh, it's an excellent source of not only fiber but protein. It's probably the highest protein um, um, grain out there and it cooks pretty much like rice. Uh, it's a little more expensive than rice but uh, definitely um, you can actually Google quinoa and you'll see all kinds of uh, health benefits, uh, especially when it comes to uh, mineral content and, um, and fiber. Uh, rice, rice is not bad for you as long as you have the fiber in rice. This is black rice, it's becoming very popular. It cooks, it takes a little longer to cook than, than white rice. I have a rice cooker, I think they're great because I don't have to be, you know, watching the, the pot all the time and just turns it off by itself when it's done. So black rice, high fiber, slow um, absorbing uh, carbohydrate. Um, you can eat it with everything else too. And um, last but not least, hydration. Make sure you're drinking anywhere from seven to nine to 10 glasses of water a day. Um, keep hydrated, we don't drink enough water. Try to avoid sugary drinks like sodas, even diet drinks, fool your brain to crave more sugar. Um, Fruit juices, be very careful with fruit juices, because fruit juices, basically we remove the fiber from the juice and we're drinking this sugary um, drink that actually increases your blood sugar and spikes your insulin anyway. So it's, people think they're doing something healthy by drinking fruit juices. I tell people, eat the fruit, that's where the fiber is, and fiber slows down the absorption of sugar into the blood. Um, if you have to have some stimulation, coffee, I love coffee, I think coffee, uh, has been shown to have a bunch of, uh, bunch of benefits uh, for health, as long as you don't overdo it, and because coffee can dehydrate you, and coffee can make you a little hyper, and your blood pressure may go up. But, you know, just with moderation. Also, green tea. Green tea has a lot of antioxidants. It's been proven in some in vitro studies that even antiviral properties. Um, so it has less caffeine than coffee, but, um, but it may, may be good enough for a lot of people that need a little bit of perk in the morning. So thank you so much. I hope uh, you enjoyed this real quick overview. Uh, I didn't cover all the foods that I really usually buy, but this, are, this gives you a kind of a good idea what to, what to consume if you want to lose weight, keep a healthy body composition, healthy nutrient intake, and, and good health. So thank you very much. And please watch my other videos. Um, I have videos on exercise, on supplements, and on hormones. Um, so hope you enjoyed it and see you soon.